Claude 3.7 Sonnet just dropped, and it's not just faster, it thinks smarter, codes better, and even runs commands like a real developer. This might be the closest we've come to an AI that actually works like a human brain. Claude 3.7 Sonnet is Anthropic's latest large language model, and they're calling it a hybrid reasoning model. Other labs, like OpenAI with their O3 or Google with Gemini 2.0 flash thinking, sometimes have separate models for everyday tasks versus hardcore reasoning tasks like math proofs or physics problems. Anthropic wanted to put everything into one model so you don't have to switch back and forth when you need either quick answers or super deep analysis. They say it's like having one brain that can do speed mode and deep reflection mode, and I've gotta say it sounds like they're really onto something with that approach. So how does that hybrid idea work in practice? Basically, you get two ways to use Claude 3.7 Sonnet. If you need a lightning fast answer, like if you just wanna ask what's the capital of Italy, you can do that in standard mode and it'll respond near instantly. But if you've got a gnarly math problem or a complicated coding scenario, you can switch on something called extended thinking mode. In that mode, Claude literally shows you its internal chain of thought or reasoning process. According to Anthropic, it does this by reflecting step by step before spitting out the final solution. They actually compare it to humans. Sometimes we do a quick mental check and sometimes we sit down and write out every step in detail. It's exactly like that, but in AI form. Now something super important here, Anthropic is letting you see the model's raw chain of thought in extended mode. Most other labs have tried to hide it or at least provide a sanitized summary. Anthropic says they might reconsider how much they reveal in the future, but for now, you can literally watch the model's thought process on your screen. That's wild, right? But it's only available for paid tiers, so if you're on the free plan, you'll have to do without the extended thinking. Let's talk availability and pricing, because that's always a hot topic. Claude 3.7 Sonnet is available for just about everyone. You can use it via the Anthropic API, on Amazon Bedrock, and even through Google Cloud's Vertex AI. And if you're a direct consumer, you can access it on Claude. AI on the web, iOS, and Android, though remember that extended thinking mode isn't included in the free plan. Price-wise, it's interesting. Anthropic says it'll cost you $3 per million input tokens and $15 per million output tokens, which also includes the thinking tokens in extended mode. If you're trying to compare it to something like OpenAI's O3 Mini, Claude 3.7 Sonnet is pricier, about four times more expensive. But they say you can get discounts if you do a lot of prompt caching or batch processing, so it might balance out depending on your usage. Also to help you manage your budget, the API lets you cap how many tokens the model is allowed to use for its thinking. That's a pretty neat feature if you're worried about your AI going on a brainstorming spree and racking up charges. Another new feature from Anthropic is Claude Code. They call it an agentic coding tool, which basically means it can do a bunch of tasks in a single go searching code bases, editing files, writing tests, pushing commits to GitHub, and even using command line tools. It's currently in a limited research preview, so not everyone can access it yet, but from Anthropic's own hype, it sounds like it's going to be a huge productivity <laughs> boost for developers. They mentioned that in their internal tests, Claude code can handle complicated refactors or debugging tasks in one pass, stuff that would normally take a human 45 minutes or more. That's significant. And if it's stable enough, it might become a standard developer tool for everything from test-driven development to large-scale code maintenance. Now, something they've emphasized a lot is that Claude 3.7 Sonnet has improved significantly at coding and front-end web development. Partners like Cursor have tested it and found it best in class for real-world coding tasks. Replit apparently got Claude to build entire web apps and dashboards from scratch. If you're big on coding, it sounds like Claude might become your new best friend. Let's jump into some numbers because who doesn't love benchmarks? Anthropic claims that Claude 3.7 Sonnet sets the state of the art on SWE Bench Verified and T-Bench. They even did scaffolding tests, basically letting the model plan out its approach, take multiple steps and keep track of them in a scratch pad. For example, in T-Bench, they allowed up to 100 steps, though most tasks finished under 30 steps, and only one went to 50. So if you're a developer who invests in test time compute to get the best pass rate, you'll probably like these results. And while we're on the subject of context windows, Claude 3.7 Sonnet can handle a whopping 128,000 tokens in extended thinking mode. 
That's more than 15 times longer than some of the older models. That means you can feed it huge code bases or massive datasets and still get coherent answers. It's not just about length though, people are also using that capability for robust analytics or to handle large enterprise knowledge bases. They've also tested Claude 3.7 Sonnet's computer usability. Now what's that you ask? Instead of restricting it to certain APIs, Anthropic has trained Claude to navigate a computer interface the way a human would, moving a cursor, clicking buttons, typing text. While it's still a public beta feature, the idea is that you can let Claude do full-blown software testing, research tasks, or routine operational tasks right on your machine, not just in the confines of a single app. That's probably the biggest shift in how we think about AI assistance. These models are learning to do more than just chat. They're learning to perform real actions. And now for a bit about real-world usage scenarios. Claude 3.7 Sonnet is recommended for critical tasks like customer-facing AI. It's also popular for knowledge QNA because it has low hallucination rates, a big plus if you're building any kind of support tool or advanced chatbot. We've seen that it handles visual data extraction, reading charts, graphs, and even complicated diagrams. And of course it's useful for the more typical tasks like content generation, data analysis, or even robotic process automation. Think about an AI that not only generates your code but also runs tests, commits the updates, and merges your pull requests. That's the direction we're headed. Anthropic also says they've done extensive safety testing. Claude 3.7 Sonnet apparently is better at refusing harmful requests without rejecting too many benign queries, 45% fewer false refusals than previous models discussing how they mitigate vulnerabilities and the potential safety advantages that come with more transparent reasoning. They're even looking at how extended thinking might help you catch mistakes, like if you can see the AI's step-by-step -step logic, you can hopefully identify when it's going off the rails. On top of everything, Anthropic likes to mention that they used a fun test to gauge the model's agentic capabilities Pokemon gameplay. They basically hooked the model's API into a game controller. Claude 3.5 Sonnet got stuck in the very first town, but 3.7 Sonnet managed to defeat multiple gym leaders. That's not exactly a standard enterprise benchmark, but it's a neat indicator that this model can handle fairly open-ended and goal-oriented tasks. It shows that the AI can understand complex environments, make strategic decisions, and adapt to changing conditions, all crucial skills for more serious applications. Looking at the timeline, Early feedback from big names like Vercel, Cursor, and Replit suggests it's a huge improvement for real-world coding tasks. And yes, it's moving so fast. Elon Musk's XAI just launched Grok 3 last week, Google has Gemini 2.0 in the pipeline, and OpenAI is iterating quickly too. But for now it looks like Anthropic is holding a strong position in the frontier model race, especially if you want a single AI that can do quick answers, extended reasoning, coding, and even pop open a command line. So essentially Claude 3.7 Sonnet combines everyday QNA with deep reasoning, upgraded coding skills, a bigger context window, and a new AI coding tool called Claude Code. Pricing stays the same at 3 bucks per million tokens in and $15 per million out, which might seem high, but the benchmark suggests it's worth it for serious devs. If you need an AI that can build websites, analyze data, or even refactor code, this might be the best one yet. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.